Hello YouTube, this has been a weird week. My room is messy, I'm still, still in pajamas, but I have actually been snowed in a lot of the last few days, so I have spent a lot of time at home. What better time for video making than when you can't leave your house? Wednesday, the challenge was to read a magazine that is not targeted toward you. Since I was snowed in today, I couldn't actually go to the store to buy a magazine for this challenge, so I asked my roommate if I could borrow one of his magazines, so I have kind of limited selection here to work with. All right, he's given me one Discover magazine, which I probably would actually read that. Men's Health, maybe not. Um, I actually read Wired um, sometimes, so we're left with this giant stack of poker magazines. So let's pick one of these. Let's pick one with the cutest guy on the front. Let's see. This guy's name is Helmuth. That's cool. I watched some Buffy today. Let's see. Oh, he's pretty cute. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> All right, I've skimmed through the entire magazine now, and here's what I found. Poker is boring. This is such a specialty magazine that if you don't know about poker, you are going to be very lost. The ads were mostly for poker tournaments or casinos. Casinos are kind of cool. I, I've i been to a few casinos, so I did, I did look at the pictures of the different casinos. Here are the 2011 players of the year if you care. I did find two articles that looked relatively interesting, so I'm gonna read them and then I'll let you know. All right, so I read the article about the cute guy. Turns out he started playing poker when he was about 14. Um, he learned from his brother. And he became really well known online because he both won and lost millions and millions of dollars because he um, is a really aggressive player who plays with really high stakes. The interesting thing about him is that he kept his identity a secret for a really, really long time under the username I sold her one or something like that. Um, so he was a sort of enigma in the poker world and he's only recently, I guess, um, come forward with his identity or something. It was actually kind of an interesting story. I guess he's one of the most famous poker players in the world or something. So yeah, today I learned. The second article I read was called When I Was a Donk, mostly because I just wanted to know what a donk was. I guess a donk is uh, top pros rewinding back to their humble beginnings. So I'm assuming a donk is someone who's just learning how to play poker? I couldn't really go anywhere on Thursday and the challenge that day was to try out some new words that you taught yourself on other people. But I had to test all of mine on Justin. My words were flibberty gibbet, which is a silly scatterbrained person. The next word was catterall, which is to utter long wailing cries or to howl or screech like a cat. The last one was cacology, which is a bad use of words. Hey Justin. Yeah. Uh, if I were to call you a flibberty gibbet, would you start caterwauling at me? No, I don't know what that means. Oh, well, no. Wait, Forget that... it. That was kind of a cacology anyway, I guess. We're not friends. <laughs> the next challenge was really, really fun. We were supposed to be kindness ninjas, which meant that we were supposed to go do some random act of kindness um, secretly to someone that we know, and I chose my little brother. I am on PizzaHut.com and I just ordered one large pan pizza for my brother and it's going to be delivered to his house. He doesn't know, so I'm really excited that he's just going to be at home by himself. I actually like planned it with my parents and they're going to make sure that he answers the door and they're just going to be like, pizza for Nick Horner? And he's going to be like, I didn't order a pizza. And they're going to be like, well, someone did. And I'm really excited about it because his birthday is on Sunday. So this is sort of like an early birthday present slash my random ninja act of kindness. Unfortunately, as I said before, it was a really weird snow week here in Seattle and Pizza Hut actually canceled my order without telling me. The roads weren't even really that bad anymore, especially out where my brother lives with my parents, uh, but they decided that they weren't going to be delivering pizzas that night, so it just never came, and I'm still really disappointed about it. I actually had to call my brother and apologize for something that he didn't even know was supposed to be happening, um, but his birthday is today, and I'm going to go have dinner with him, so hopefully that will make it up to him. Saturday's challenge was of the create your own variety, and I will admit right now that I spent the entire day, A, filming the teaser trailer for Job Hunters, and B, watching 11 episodes of Battlestar Galactica. So I'm gonna admit it, I may have taken a day off of the challenges. Sorry. Challenges are going to resume as normal today though, don't worry. The challenge for today is to just relax for 30 minutes because a lot of times people don't take time to do that. So I have my lush bath bombs and I'm gonna go take a bubble bath. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon with another update video.